Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. Recently, we have uploaded our version 1.0 resume on a website and we made this whole video on how you can learn from the resume and download it, use it, and it has magical effects. Now, of course, it may not do magic for everybody, but if you want to know what kind of magic it does for so many people who have already used this resume, landed a job, you should join our Job Skills Share Discord. And in the Discord, you should come over here into the Career Services section. You can submit your resume. And here, if you click on the Success Stories, this is where we basically put all of that information in Success Story. And most of these uh, will have something related to that magic that we're talking about. So, of course, all of that is not about just a resume, but this is going to give you a lot of confidence. But this is where we put that uh, information that, you know, this resume works. Uh, worked for so many people and now it's time to upgrade this resume so that's what we are going to do in this video i'm going to show you how you can go and download the version 2.0 and i'll tell you what are the, some of the changes and why i uh, created a version 2.0 so to, so it can make more sense so the first thing you should do is to go to the resume 2.0 and click on uh, basically the the resume 2.0 and click on download once you click on download it's gonna start downloading you can see it says save make sure it's this and the link is job skills share all right and then you'll basically save this file so click on ok now it's saving into your downloads and open the resume uh, in from your computer whatever you're using and basically it's going to open something like this uh, my word is a little messed up let me fix that there you go and uh, of course you need to be doing enable editing so if you're worried about you know this being having some kind of wires or anything like that i will highly recommend you open it on a some type of virtual machine if you're worried so just do that you know um now of course um you're gonna get a lot of stuff i use grammarly it may have some it may you grammarly may find some issues you can fix those i mean i'm not a perfect human being myself so if you want to do that definitely this is your template you can mess around with it now the reason we changed it is there's two reasons for it. One, we want to make we want to give it a little grayish look because it look more decent and it's like it's better than the last version, uh, and it it looks more uh, new. At the same time, it's not too uh, graphical or it's not too modern because then people have opinions on that, right? We want to still keep things classic, the way it was working. So we we're not gonna change our whole model where things are going to either work or not. Is this being used, by the way? Yes, it's being used by some of our members, the current new members, and somebody already got a job, another person already on a third interview on this resume. So you can you can see it's working already. Um, the first thing is summary of qualification. It's very basic stuff. We, we don't want to put too much in here. Core strengths. We, we remove this from area of expertise. Remember, because if you guys are into level uh, professionals, you're trying to go to the first job, then putting something like uh, expertise doesn't make too much sense. So we uh, detected that and we fixed this by putting core strengths in here. And of course, then we changed the layout. First, it was in a one list layout. Now it's in the kind of like a two list. So basically it's like on, in the list three, three on the left, three on the right to save that space because a lot of people uh, then have opinions on should the resume be two pages one page we think two pages is definitely a good thing no problem with that as long as your first page makes sense if your first page is attractive and it can it can it can be catchy for people it can attract that you know that person to look uh, into this resume then yes you definitely need the second page because you need to explain certain things or show off your uh, certification projects career development I'm gonna show you that in a second right now so you can see the first area right here is gonna target most of the recruiters or HR people that are gonna be the first people picking up this resume so make it super easy for them to read it so they're gonna say oh core strengths customer service ticketing system I already know about ticketing system we use that office 365 cool we use that too or maybe they know about it I know I'm sure a lot of people know about it now tier one level troubleshooting so okay that's kind of like a little bit more of an IT thing and but they will like that because oh okay that they do troubleshooting Active Directory is one of the top one and then you have this manage virtual machines maybe I'll just change this to D like that you know maybe when you download this template just fix that and then after that 
technology proficiencies. We're not putting experience, expertise or anything like that, just technologies, proficiencies, and that's where you're targeting that IT manager, whoever is gonna be that technical person. When they look at this stuff, if you're brand new, you may, you may not know this stuff right now, but when an IT person look at this stuff, SCCM, Firewall, Zoom, VPN, Teams, Spiceworks, PDQ, let me tell you, I'm talking to them right now. They know my language. So when you put this on your resume, you're talking to them. You're basically connecting with them, and that's a flow. You connect with HR, you connect with IT, then HR have something, some experience. So put something, internships, experience, or we offer internships from when people take our live trainings, and that's probably why people pay, uh, you know, for this stuff. So that's we don't pit like a real internship. You come and work with us. We just you work with no products. These are technical stuff. We just put it there, right? And you work with some of the basic stuff. But again, if you, you not everybody's gonna get that. So you can go outside, get some internship, get some projects, do some family work. Don't put family stuff in there. Just put projects in there. And then on the bottom, you have this academic qualification. Put anything: high school, college, you university and then on the on the bottom maybe if you're taking let's say CompTIA A plus you can put something on the bottom anticipated IT certifications CompTIA in progress while you put something on the top where it says IT training and skills development this is going to be very targeted by the way it works pretty nicely when people can see ticketing on on top of your resume and then they can see that okay you know uh, when you have something like ticketing on top of your resume then you say that okay, I'm specifically taking this ticket then on the bottom you have proven that you know this ticketing by basically this specific certification and people usually come and check out our site if you don't feel comfortable with that just remove this code like, like that you know there's no worry about that but then you should remove the board because then it's not gonna look good so uh, if you're gonna use this then make sure you just remove the board like that and just leave it like that it looks more decent if you don't put the chords in here but if you're putting chords then yes you want to make it a little catchy by using that this method so um, I hope you guys getting this point um, then uh, of course after this uh, the only thing you should do is to go crazy on applying apply 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 till you get that job it is the simple rule that I'm gonna sell every single person if you don't apply then you're not gonna get this job if you apply to 10 places it's nothing you have to apply to many 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 places before you start getting responses and if you're serious about getting that job then you should be joining communities like this where we talk about every single thing that you're gonna come across in this career how did you get the call who is the company what was the description then you drop that over here then conversation gets started and people are joining in right now you should be joining in if you're missing out from this stuff then I don't know I mean you're just missing out from too much too good I mean this this stuff is too good it's free it's people people are sharing experience and if you're not joining this stuff then I'm just gonna say that you're missing out thank you put the link in the description